Okay. Petronia! <laughs> I can't remember for the life of me where it is that I said that. It was right at the beginning because there's a clip where I say it and it cuts off. Petronia. <laughs> Petronia. <laughs> you do it so well. <laughs> I have something to say, right? Yesterday I met my new housemate. Yeah. It was quite late at night. Mm. Um, <laughs> um, and for some reason I decided that it would be appropriate for me to shake his hand. And all evening I was thinking about the fact that shaking hands is so fucking awkward. And then I was thinking about etiquette, right? Who the fuck... Unless you go to a fucking finishing school, who the fuck teaches you etiquette? When you meet, like, an aunt or an uncle from, like, you haven't seen in, like, years, and they kiss you on the cheek, and then they go in for a second one. How the fuck are you supposed to know that? <laughs> I think that's all just learned experience. I just I do, don't I, get it. I do, I'm so awkward. I do find the double kiss so awkward because I... I We'll never get used to it. Mm -mm. We'll just do the one, then pull away, and then they just keep going. And I'm like, oh, whoa. Well, so like, mm. <laughs> oh, I, I hate it. the point because you're not actually kissing them on the cheek. You're just kind of like tapping each other's cheeks. Yeah. I just, it to me, it just seems so French. And I just can't, like, get my head around it. Like, the French people do it so well. It, it looks chic. It looks styled out. But then when a British auntie that I haven't seen or, like, like a family friend that classes themselves as an auntie tries to do it and then got, got you by the shoulders. <laughs> it's just like... I don't know if that's normal. It's too much. By the shoulders is crazy. Yeah, because they grab you by the shoulders. I don't know if that's etiquette or assault at that point because... <laughs> I... But it's not quite a hug. You will kiss me on both cheeks. No, but it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not quite a hug and it's not... Like, you're like, not going to oh, stand there with your nice arms. Like, yeah. Oh, you're not going nice. to stand there with your arms down like that. No, you just <laughs> lift your elbows up and grab them on their arms. <laughs> not in a straight jacket, mate. <laughs> just go, aww. <laughs> Can't be doing it. Elbows on the table is a pathetic piece of etiquette. What's wrong with putting my elbow? I need a rest. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm eating a whole meal. I'm going to get tired. How big are you fucking now? <laughs> 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 I'm eating a whole meal. I mean, no, no, but you're, you're eating a whole meal, especially if you're using chopsticks. Like, I want to put my elbows on the table and rest. I get it. It's but like saying to someone, oh, you're running a marathon, you can't stop. Fruit. Has anyone ever told you that? I've never run a marathon, so. <laughs> They're outside of the fucking London Marathon with like etiquette clipboards. Outside like. of the London Marathon. <laughs> yeah, like, you, it is outside. No, like outside <laughs> of of the track, <laughs> of the racetrack. Is it a racetrack? Route? Road? <laughs> a couple of centimeters behind the barrier. Oh, yeah, inside outside. Am I doing it? Am I not? Am I running? No, nah, you could. I I feel like if you actually stood on the inside of that, on the inside of those barriers, it'd be like the floor would be like electric. Like you just have to run. It's like the do those little dogs that get caught up in it. Little dogs. Yeah, when like dogs accidentally get included in like a race and they run with them. I don't know why this kind of came into my head, but I find it weird sometimes. Right, <laughs> it's gonna make me sound like I have a foot fetish, and I really, really don't. But sometimes I absolutely do not. <laughs> mm. If there's one thing I can be a hundred percent certain on, it is that I definitely don't have a foot fetish. Maybe but the aversion is a uh, suppression. Shop. <laughs> so I, I love sometimes I'll just see people walking around. And I'm just like they have toes. <laughs> like even you know, people are like running or playing like a like a real like if you're watching a game of rugby, and they're these big hefty men. Just sometimes, sometimes the little thought of them having the little piggies in their studs. They're really just trying hard. Oh, I bet they're so gross. Yeah, but you just do you know what I mean? It does make me laugh though sometimes when like when they're in like a scrum and you just know they're clawing inside those boots. Exactly. This is what <laughs> I mean. They're so tense. This is what I mean. And even like think about like ballet dancers, they're clicking on for dear life. Yeah. Speaking of toes, yesterday when I was at work, my nail clippers are in the car, so I haven't kept up my mail maintenance. <laughs> Nail maintenance. Nail maintenance. And apparently, for some reason, yesterday was the time that my toes were going to tell me. I had one nail that was like a fucking razor blade in my shoe. And I took my sock off, and the entirety of the next toe was totally cut up. 
And I just think that is so rude and not very camaraderie. Rude of you to not look after your own toes. <laughs> Rude of the other toe to assault the other one. <laughs> because you weaponized it. <laughs> you said to this little piggy gone market, this little piggy psychopath. Yeah, listen. I'm the system. I shan't be blamed. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm the system. I'm the system that weaponized this toe and I shan't be blamed for what it does. <laughs> it's a commentary on the justice system. What have you done today? <laughs> have you spoken to many people? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I did. I did. Did send that absolutely psychotic Tinder message. Oh yeah, that was. I just. It was. It was cute. That's not necessarily something I would maybe reply to, but. Do you know what? It's different from a hey. Yeah, and <laughs> it said in his bio that he works in AI, and he promised that it wasn't boring. Oh, that, that's a, a crucial piece of information, Maisie. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> no. He just said, "Can't believe I sent that." How would I know? No, he said he worked in AI and he promised it wasn't boring. And so my woken up phase, I just decided that that was what it was going to happen. Woken up phase. <laughs> that was in my waking up phase. <laughs> was it your your 30 minutes? What? Your 30 minutes that you can't be blamed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anything I do in the first 30 minutes of waking up, I cannot be blamed for. I honestly... Don't even talk to me. And if I have spoken to you, forget it. Because I don't know what I did or said. And I probably didn't mean it. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not even going to lie. It's true. It's so true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's, it's insane. Because sometimes I'll have a conversation with you. Like like on Snap when you first wake up. And then a couple of hours later, I'll mention something that we spoke about. And you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. It could be any time of day or night whenever I've decided to wake up. Those first 25, 30 mm. minutes... It's yeah. not even me. A Petronia. <laughs> Where's my drink? You're making me jealous. It's there. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Is that a stick? Makes me laugh when people do this. Bloody hamster. Oh, I would really like that. What, like strapped up next to your bed? <laughs> the water bowl, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes, I would like that. I would love it so much. I would. I might get a little wheel for my room. You got space. Yeah, why are you nearly in tears? I don't know what's wrong with me. I do have an iPhone. so bad to be a hamster. I really didn't know what, what else to put there, but why am I nearly crying? <laughs> what's wrong with me? I would really like that. Oh god. Your hair is giving like the woman from the um the woman from the The one that's got a really long name. What? The film with the really long name and the house on the legs. <laughs> oh the woman across the street across the house from <laughs> across the street your house. No, <laughs> A series of unfortunate events. Oh, God, fucking hell! <laughs> that hasn't been there. The, the, the woman in the window across the house from the house that's across your the street. The girl in the window door. across the house from the train. <laughs> <laughs> She's across the foot on the bus stop. <laughs> yes, but her, when she has like the really big, like Victorian bun. Yeah. This is just how I keep it out of my face. Yeah, that, that claws doing a lot. Working hard. She's working hard. Working, Working hard. hard. <laughs> Was that what you were singing? Mm. Okay. I despise that song. I loathe it. Yeah. Loathe. Entirely. Nude. Petunia. <laughs> Petunia. <laughs> Fucking love that video. I was watching a film earlier, right? It's called The Proposal. Have you seen it? Ryan Reynolds, Sandra Bullock. And the flying dog. The dog in the eagle. Mm -hmm. In the eagle. Ooh. <laughs> it's, it's like, like it's, it's, it's like <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. 
Um, it's like an, an Americans where they do like a turkey with a chicken inside it with a duck inside it. Uh, yeah. I bet that's Thanksgiving, isn't it? A turkey. Where's the duck? There's a K, silent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's silent. Because you said chucky. Chucky. Yeah. Chucky. Ch chucky. Mm -hmm. Sorry, the proposal. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was, well, I was watching it earlier. Um, what were we talking about before that? Because that's what we remember. Hair. Loathing. Oh. <laughs> so they they like go on this holiday, like fake marriage and shit. And she's like, and he's like, three days ago I loathed you, and now I love you. Three days. Three days. You know, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it can happen. <laughs> to the point of marriage. Well, I no, don't think so. I thought they were trying to get her a green card. <laughs> yeah. But then oh. they actually got married. Wow. Three days. Have you seen that TikTok trend where it's like things that I did with my boyfriend before he was my boyfriend? Yeah, that kind of pisses me off. So yeah. I'm like, why isn't that happening to me? Yeah. And it's like, to be fair, some of them are like, oh, we got in a car accident and he never left. Oh, I didn't see any of those. <laughs> hubba, hubba. <laughs> I didn't, didn't see any of those ones. <laughs> yeah. Imagine, though, that would be really... I. Or orcs. Or getting in a car crash on the first date. Yeah. This one Whether was. Whether you've got a bonded experience, a shared experience, trauma brings people together. Yeah, but then what happens when you get over the trauma and you don't share it anymore? Then you have nothing You're left. Always... <laughs> the point of trauma is that it's always there. Yeah, but what if you come to grips with it? It's still always there. Okay. No. Should we get in a car crash and you can see how it feels? Sure. Let's go! <laughs> I don't, yeah. What, what was the other one? <laughs> that was what? There was one where this girl got in a car, the, the two of them got in a car accident on their first date, and she told the paramedics that he was her boyfriend and she managed she basically convinced herself that she had lost her memory of him because she said that he was her boyfriend when it first happened and then the paramedics were like oh your boyfriend and she was like oh my fucking god i've forgotten an entire relationship like that film that's uh, uh, gerard um, butler you sure because usually when you bring up, bring up an actor it's wrong bring up an actor <laughs> No, maybe that's P.S. I love you. I keep getting adverts on my YouTube for, like, Viagra. Do you? What are you searching? Oh. Actually, it's not even on YouTube. It's on, on Channel 4. I'm going to ignore that. Um. <laughs> Me too. I I... Viagra. Channel 4. I was watching The Inbetweeners. Every single time there's an advert break, the first one is for, like, an... an, 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 an <laughs> <laughs> Erectile dysfunction pill. Do you know what that probably is? And do you know why I have erectile dysfunction? Because I don't have a penis. <sighs> How can I get it up if it's not there? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just want to be a hamster. <laughs> do you know? Do you know what that probably is? It's probably the. Um, and this is meaning no offence to in between us fans, but it's probably the average of of watchers that watch the in between us. I don't think the ads are like. Did I blow the belt? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. That's really rude. No, I'm that's really serious. rude. I don't have a penis, but if I had one, I wouldn't have a erectile dysfunction. Not there's anything wrong with this. The, the ads on Channel 4, especially on those ones, they're not targeted, they're based on the TV show. Why? What are you trying to say? That a percentage of the watchers of in-between us are men who may or may not experience erectile dysfunction that may or may not be below the belt well, i'm a woman i know <laughs> but thank you for clarifying 
Ow. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Every time I go into boots, I always see that. Really? Oh, goodness. <laughs> Oh, it's a bad one. <laughs> um, I always see that one that's like a, it's got like starts with a C, and you're both supposed to take it. Really? Yeah, it's like gold packaging, and it starts with a C, and it's got two like weird little like humanoid just with like circle heads. And I think that's like this. the one. I think that's the one. Oh, it's like a no. It's like an aphrodisiac, isn't it? It's like. Um. <laughs> uh, what? I don't know if you could really class it as an aphrodisiac. It's just straight up fucking Viagra, mate. But for both of you, yeah, the royal you. <laughs> but do you know what? I, do, do you know what I did find? Do you know what I did find interesting? Because I kind of just switched off and didn't really watch it. But because of the amount of episodes of In Between as I have watched today, I've seen the advert quite a few times. Oh yeah. The one time I did pay attention, it was like. You have 36 hours to activate it. Apparently, you can take it and it doesn't kick in until you get a little rod on. Oh. <laughs> Just a little, <laughs> little rod. <laughs> um, that's very interesting. How would that work for a woman? Get aroused. Well, it appears it would be quite difficult if you needed Viagra. Do women need Viagra? Some can if you've got a low libido. Lib lib <laughs> if you've got a low limousine. <laughs> if you got a low lining. So, oh, I thought I was watching today. I watched the final episode, uh, the final ever Grand Tour, which oh, is yeah. also the final ever Top Gear. I reckon they'll come back with another one. I don't know. <clears throat> it seemed pretty final. And it was really, really sad because they ended it in the same place that they did their first ever, like, special episode. Is that why you were crying? Yeah. Because they kept switching between 22 years. 22 years ago, they were in that same place in Zimbabwe. They drove across the entirety of Zimbabwe. Imagine if we do this for 22 years. And longer. And we try to go back to Morrison's car park and we can't because it's been built over. It's a laser tag. <laughs> I almost thought you said Lazy Town. I would fucking I would go to Lazy Town if it was real. Would I you? Would, I would love to go to something like that. I don't think I'm quite athletic enough to go to Lazy Town, but I would go. I'd be that little one in the that guy in the yellow shirt, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> that one. I don't know the one you mean. Isn't he a bit of a busybody? Yeah, busybody. Bit a bit. What does that even mean, busybody? I'd rather be a busybody than a sportycus. Busy buzzy. <laughs> and Sporty gush. Nah, I would love to like backflip out of that big. Maybe I'll be the villain. What are they called? What? The <laughs> sunroof. Oh, in the sky. Not a plane. A plane? No. <clears throat> what are they fucking called? A sky roof. No, Sorry. what are they called? What are you talking about? The, the, the things. Zeppelins. Uh, oh, oh, um... Zeppelin. <laughs> no, it's a, um... Um... Airbus. No. What the fuck is it called? A Zeppelin! No. It's something else. <laughs> it's a Zeppelin. A blimp. A blimp? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> a blimp. A baby. Yeah, I would love to, I would love to be back flipping out one of those every day. Does he do that and just land on the floor? Yeah. I never, really watched, I never really watched Rosie Town. Neither. I only remember the two main characters and she was really annoying. But I feel like the concept... No, do you know where I would like to go? <laughs> Noddy land. Yeah. That would be so nice. I reckon we should go and get our licenses at Lego land. And Weenie land. Mm. Fimble land. Fimble land would be the best with the bubbles. Bro, I'd be rolling down that hill so fast. F Fimble land with the bubbles and roly polies. Oh, I feel like this could be my final form. We could take Jackson and he can be in the Fimbles. Yeah, <laughs> that would be nice. But I am the lead for <laughs> You can be the one that tells the story. It's just one big story. It's a love story, baby, just say. I want to live a life <laughs> where 
if it did get written in the book, you could flick and stop at any page and something interesting would have happened. God, that's exhausting. It's, it's thrilling. That's the kind of life I want to live, me personally. But also, if you condensed, like, your entire life down to, what, 200 pages? That would happen. Well, I was thinking of an apt amount of pages for a book about someone's life would be 365. Clever. And I just, I would like that. Like, I, would, I wouldn't I mind if it was, like, not, nothing too crazy. But, you, you know, I wonder what... And then if they flicked multiple times and stopped in different places, like, how did we get from there to there? Mm. What the fuck? She was cutting about in Brentford, and then, damn, she's living in fucking Himalayas or some shit. Yeah. How did that happen? And then they're like, I need to read the book. Yeah. That's how I want to live my life. I really, really badly want to go to Zimbabwe. That's just because you like South African accents and Zimbabwe's close to there. Yeah, but also I watched the documentary today of the Grand Tour and it is fucking gorgeous. It's quite <sighs> literally, to quote Jeremy Clarkson, God's greatest hits. I was supposed to be going to Zimbabwe this year. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>